Scientists project that in the next 20 years, an average of 30,000 people a year will die from heat-related deaths as temperatures increase. In many cases, it's not just climate change, but it's the design choices we've made that are turning these cities into ovens and having a devastating impact on people. The vision of the future is really making more walkable, more livable, more vital, more vibrant cities that provide tremendous benefits for all residents. One of the biggest focuses of our work has been on protecting cities, preparing them for heat waves in the age of extreme heat. We saw 70,000 people die in 2003 from a heat wave in Europe. In 2019, they had to add hydration breaks to the Women's World Cup in France. At the same time, 4,000 schools had to close down because of extreme heat and lack of air conditioning. Heat is an enormous environmental justice issue and equity issue. These factors are even more pronounced in historically redlined areas, which have more roadways, fewer trees, less parks in other parts of the cities. Using thermal imagery, you can literally see the legacy of these racist policies from space. The global pandemic we're facing has helped people understand the value of high quality public spaces within their neighborhoods. Solutions that can help us prepare for heat already exist and are being deployed in cities around the world. In New York City, we're coating a million square feet of building rooftops a year white that helps reduce the temperature that's coming off of them. Los Angeles is piloting a similar technique of coating their streets white through a cool streets program. Paris is transforming 700 schoolyards into cool areas. And Milan is undertaking a radical change at a citywide scale, working to plant 3 million trees throughout the water metropolitan area in just 10 years. At Bloomberg Philanthropies, we're working directly with cities mayors and other partners to bring these solutions to life. So I'm really excited to see the possibility that gets unlocked when we begin to think of our urban environment in a very different way.